DevInfo 7 provides a fast, convenient method to upload or copy-paste your own data into the website to generate visualizations with automatic mapping of geographic areas. This feature is called My Data and allows you to create quick tables, maps, and graphs for your own reports and presentations. Before using this feature, you need to make sure that the currently selected database contains the areas and map files that match your own data set you wish to visualize. If your data set contains subnational data for Malawi, for example, you will need to browse the catalog and select a Malawi database which contains those subnational areas. After selecting the right database, click My Data to begin. The first step involves either uploading or copying and pasting your data into DevInfo. To upload data, your source file must be in one of three formats. CSV, DevInfo Data Entry Spreadsheet, which is an Excel file exported from any DevInfo database, or SDMX. The easiest format for most users to work with is CSV because the Excel file can be saved as a CSV file. First, format your Excel data spreadsheet as follows. The first column should be the area name, followed by the time period, then source, then footnotes. Various indicator unit subgroup combinations with their respective data values follows. Then, save your Excel file as a CSV file. Now you can upload your CSV file in step one of the My Data feature. Click Next to proceed. The next step requires you to specify which columns contain area name, area ID, and time periods. Use the drop down menus to indicate which column contains area names and which column contains time periods. If your source file doesn't contain area IDs, no need to worry. The software will try to automatically match the area names in your file with the corresponding areas in the underlying database. When done, click Next to proceed. The application automatically reads your data, maps it to the area in the underlying database, and takes you to the visualization page, where you can present, customize, share, and save your own data in various formats. You can also copy and paste your own data into the software to achieve the same goal. The first row must contain only column headers. It's also important to copy and paste the data directly from your spreadsheet, not type directly in the box. Again, make sure that the selected database contains the areas in your own data set that you wish to visualize. 